Greetings gamers, welcome to another Lakes of Corn channel video. This time, Super Fight, and we're playing with some house rules. Super Fight! Ah! We're playing house rules. This is gonna be 2v2 Super Fight. Basically what we're gonna do is, uh, it's gonna be a little different than you're used to. We're gonna have a judge. We're gonna rotate each time, uh, so the judge will always sit in the middle. On the right side, we're gonna have Team Right Side. Uh, team Right team Side. Team Right Side. And then Team Left. Shark. On, on team, left Shark. Team Left Shark yeah, over there. And then we're each gonna draw four of these cards. You can go ahead and draw up now. You use one uh, white card as your main fighter and then a modifier black card to make them more super. And then we're actually going to add a additional random modifier after we've announced our teams. So let's just jump into it. You'll get how it goes. Let them fight! Okay, flip them. Everyone flip. All right, we're going to start over here all the way uh, in the hot seat. So what do you got? What are you bringing to the table? I've got an angel with telekinesis, but it doesn't just stop there. My angel with telekinesis also is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Telekinesis, it can already fly. Oh, well, it's really good. They can fly and then squish. You sound like you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 And then uh, I am Robin Hood with a battleship. And uh, he's a wall crawler, so he can stick to walls. So Robin Hood with a battleship got that dead eye aim, along hands. with an angel. So we're coming at you from air and sea. Yep. Yeah, but Robin Hood's angel. just a person, though. Also, he's just like commanding, a dude. commanding a battleship. You know Go what? Ahead. You know what defeats both a drunken angel and uh, Robin Hood with a battleship? I do. A wizard that. armed with a machine gun. I've got <laughs> magic and a machine gun. Yeah, that, that's a good double. That's over. <laughs> but uh, but uh, he also has long metal claws that pop out of his hand. No! Oh, that's wow. He's got long range and close range combat. He's ready to go. Yeah. And he's a it's gonna make the gun hard to use though. Yeah, but but it, it, they pop out, okay. so it's only when he wants them. And then the tag team partner is a T-Rex that relies on sonar to see. <laughs> and it throws antiques at your mother Faces. Wow. <laughs> Just, yeah. yeah. We're talking like pianos, armoires. Some of, some of them are magical wow. artifacts. Joven, imagine, no, imagine this scenario, okay? My wizard throws a fireball at the battleship, sinking it. They have, they're they forced to swim. Your fireball cannot melt my battleship. My battleship would launch a salvo of ammunition that would rain hell Which, onto your wizard with a machine gun. You'd be like, I have a machine gun. <laughs> or, or, bits of Harry or I could just everywhere. teleport us onto your battleship and then you've got a T-Rex deal with on your battle. Um, <laughs> my T-Rex would your, eat your semen. Your wizard <laughs> seems a little too OP. Like a wizard just doesn't have any power. That you're like, oh, my wizard will teleport. To, it's like tell that to Gandalf. Uh, how does the T-Rex jump into battle? How? Are you kidding Paint me? Paint me that picture. All right, the wizard goes zzz, 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 teleports in. That's a sorcerer's uh, power. The T-Rex landing points. straight onto the battleship. What does a battleship need? Warcraft. It needs little bing bing. Bing, 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 because that's what they do. That sonar, T-Rex knows exactly where everything is. Claws on through, water pumping in. Robin Hood's just a guy, so he's gonna drown. Well, I drunkenly telekinese our battleship and I stick it to the side of a building, because that's, I think, the yeah, power. Yeah, we have wall, wall crawler body. Not sure how that the helps us. The angel has gotten yeah, drunk. I'm yeah. drunk. The angel got drunk and decided <laughs> to destroy their own battleship. Yeah, just yeah, lift it in the air. That's all. No, you said stick it to the side of a building. Based on strategies implemented, because that was my big thing, was strategies. Teleportation. It, it, no, that's, you can't just say that you have every power because you're yeah. a wizard. A wizard needs either a, like a book Cheating. with like the specific powers. Points. You used um, Gandalf an example. He can't just teleport. Okay, what about Well, like, this the wizard does. Yeah, it's a super this wizard. No, I'll give it to this them. Yeah! Oh, yes! Because I don't like that wizard. Yeah. He's too OP, that's why you don't like him. One point I'm for the right. I'm just gonna make whatever team Joven is on lose. Yep. That's just wow. what I'm gonna do too. Wow. Clearly we won this and you <laughs> didn't win. I'm on your team next. <laughs> No. Yeah, everyone switch one to the left. Today's video is sponsored by Filmora. Now, what is Filmora, you might ask? Well, it's a video editing software, and it's great for beginners. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel or another video project, and you're like, oh man, I don't know if I can learn all that editing stuff, Filmora is built specifically for beginners. It's really easy to use. They've got a ton of cool video transitions. They've got video filters. You can add in music. And it's all pretty much drag and drop. It's super streamlined. It's great. My favorite thing about Filmora has to be the filters. You can just change filters on a dime. There's tons of them. I mean, this is gonna be great for whatever project you're doing. And it's free. You, you download it for free, and if you don't like it, don't pay anything. It's that simple. And you can learn this program fast. In fact, I had never used it before, and I just, I edited this whole little sequence right here in Filmora. It's that easy. So check it out today. There's a link in the description. And yeah, what do you got to lose? I mean, it's free to try.
And now back into the action. You're pandering to the judge, I and I want my fighters to win in an entertaining <laughs> manner. All right, fighters are locked in. As good as Turn them over on three, two, one. Fight. Okay, what do we got over here? Starting with Mari. Oh, we got a Viking, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, oh, not just oh. one Viking, a Viking that can clone itself. However, each clone is half as smart as the previous, but you don't have to be smart in order to kill. So yeah. you're gonna yeah. kill. Yeah, 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 I'm like, if you cut a, a Viking's intelligence in half, can they even walk anymore? Save the debating for the debate phase. I just want to see the <laughs> And oh, yeah. you know what? The Vikings, not just one Viking, but all the Vikings, they dated your mom. Oh! oh! <laughs> Vikings took care of themselves. Getting banged by Viking clones. All That's right. insane. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my fighter is of course an alien from outer space. That's of right, course. an extraterrestrial who hasn't slept in three days, but that's not all. Why would you add that? Because the alien also has ADHD. Oh, it's well, a fucking crazy ass alien. It makes sense why he didn't sleep in three days. It's Don't insane. Wait, the best power you had was hasn't slept in three days. But you don't understand this, an alien day is 11 human years. So this alien has been wide awake for 33 human years. Wow, he's tired. And it's got ADHD. Okay, yeah. so we got Ragnar and Stitch over here. <laughs> <laughs> I see a, a, you got a bunch of humans over there, sure. I'm a bull. We have a bunch of okay. humans. We have an alien. A bull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Humanoids. I'm a bull, but I'm armed with a tractor beam. Okay. So he's what? chasing after you and pulling you back and just yeah. <laughs> So he gets you and just runs around and you're okay. just boom. But, uh, you know, uh, and also can only be killed by Ooh. beheading. Ah. Wow. Well, they don't have and a lot. And got thick necks. Vikings have axes. Vikings behead for a living. Yeah. And then, it's basically what we And do. then, here, I, I'll say this. This is the most OP card here. We've got me! Armed with a sniper instant rifle. Loss. Yeah, wow. instant loss. <laughs> we yes, armed with a sniper, sniper rifle. rifle. Have you seen his power. Instagram videos? Uh, He's good with the gun. Uh, That's true. But I'm depressed, so not too much change. Oh my god. Why? Is that a card? card? It is. <laughs> Why? Yeah, so I'm walk me through it. this. We started over here uh, with, with the reveal, so walk me through this left team. How, how are you? What's your battle plan? Uh, Our uh, battle, like, okay, we've got an alien without a ship who's clearly very tired and hyper at the same time. Uh, the bull is pulling them in and charging at them. And no, I'm no, just, no, 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 just okay, like, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on top of a hill with my sniper rifle. I've I'm got the like, tractor okay, beam. I'm not, why would I be running at them while they're coming to? No, I got them in the tractor beam. They're being sucked towards me as I'm constantly running away. Mm. So they're just being dragged behind me. And then you're just seeing the shot, taking the shot. Okay, I like that. And if they get too close, you can always turn around and then it's so double you're, speed. You're saying that your tractor beam, it can hit multiple targets at once. Yeah. I mean, be. the only other way is if we're getting tractor bull. beam, that bull is running hey, away, I'm... the tractor beam would have to be in your butt. Yeah. Well, no, it, it, it gets close enough to get it's it. It's strapped on the back. Yeah, uh, and tractor beams don't necessarily have just like- All right, enough tractor to beam. Oh my God. Don't mess with an alien who's now legally prescribed a, a, an amphetamine because uh, That's <laughs> if you don't think I haven't slept before, now my alien brain is on one. All right. On a he had legal one piece of candy and got ADHD. Wow. Yeah, you should have picked not a sniper rifle because I don't know how you're gonna knock down a million, no, a billion Vikings who only know how to kill. So, so <laughs> yeah, that's but, but the wait, only so no, no, you thing. still, you said earlier that you don't need intelligence to walk. You do need intelligence to fight to some degree. And if they you start off at small, 90, the no? next one is 45. You, you got a tractor beam, as a beam and you're dragging a million IQ. stupid Vikings who all have sharp objects. You're dragging them towards you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a judgment here. You're funny. <laughs> you're funny. I'm gonna make a judgment here. I'm gonna give it to Wes and the, the bull. Yeah! and the sniper rifle. Listen, your Vikings are gonna get sniped. They're gonna be too dumb to run away. And like sleepy alien, sleepy cracked out alien, <laughs> Isn't gonna help at all. You don't think this stuff no. is You're crazy. thinking like a human. You're not yeah, thinking like yeah. an alien. You don't understand no. how aliens work. You well, just technically, have never, you've yeah. never met an alien, obviously. Yeah. 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 Technically, yeah. we yeah. would be an alien to some other uh, alien species. So we don't. We're not necessarily saying that the alien species is an advanced culture. We are. We know because we're the alien. Uh, how many? Yeah. Movies it sounds like you're a wizard to Sorry. give yourself too many powers again. Just throwing this out there. How many alien movies have we seen them get killed by guns? Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Lots. Guns. Lots work on them. And name a better person aliens, with a gun. Aliens, the sequel. I mean, wow. Keanu Reeves. But Keanu Reeves. All right, all right, all Switch right. Switch it up. A point to team left. All right, all right. I'm looking Hello. for a good, clean, super fight. I'm looking for uh, some ridiculous characters with powers that I would never expect, and I want those to be the most important ones. I'm looking for, uh, you know, a Robin Thick with a Uzi. I'm looking for a Celine Dion who is actually a demon. You know, all those things would really uh, make me think of powerful creatures. All right, I got my, <laughs> I got I like my team. This. Is everyone locking in? <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, everyone on the count of three, reveal your character. One, two, three, flip. All right. All right, we're gonna start with team left. I heard you. I heard you loud and clear. Mm -hmm. I didn't have, I didn't draw Celine Dion. Okay. I didn't draw, who, uh, who was the other guy you said? I don't even remember. Okay, wow, I didn't. You weren't listening. But what I did draw was Bill Clinton. Wow. <clears throat> okay, what did and you know, He is nothing like Celine Dion. <laughs> this time he's got spring shoes on. Spring shoes? He's bouncing all over the place. He's bouncing wiry. Bill. Bouncing Bill, you know him. He's got the saxophone. <laughs> bouncing <laughs> bouncing Bill. And he also is armed with a portal gun. Oh, jeez. That's pretty sick. So wait, technically, aren't those like the uh, shell shoes? Aren't they kind of like bouncing shoes? Yeah, yeah, so he's, he's uh, <laughs> well, no. Is Long Bill Clinton boots. shell? Long fall. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that Bill Clinton probably wouldn't have lasted very long in the Portal games. <laughs> and on, he was stressed out, as he said. On the side recently. of Portal Gun, uh, Spring Hill, Bill Clinton is Conan, the Barbarian, and he controls a tween army. A so tween they are, army? They are hashtag lit. It is a big mood. Conan joins BTS ready <laughs> to get in there. Yeah, they got their K-pop on. And they're, I don't know, what do they do? They're not hoverboards anymore. How do they get around? Their mom. Their mom's van. Their, their mom's yeah. van. Yeah. Their mom drops up, finally <laughs> got them out of their rooms, and they're ready to fight. And also, Conan can see three seconds into the future, and three. you know what he sees? Man, if I he had that. He sees that him and Bill have already won this fight up top. In wow. three seconds. Coronavirus, I oh, forgot. Wow. Oh, oh but he saw that in the future. He <laughs> saw yeah. three seconds ahead, he would get coronavirus. Good. I've got Bill Clinton with spring shoes and a portal gun, B portal gun fighting alongside, of course, uh, Conan the Barbarian who controls a tween army and he can also see three seconds into the future. Yeah. That's amazing. That's tough to beat. What do yeah. we got over here? I don't know. Um, Let's find out. Well, my honorable mention because of the Bill Clinton is George W. Bush. Uh -oh. he, he really has to pee. Uh, that was all the time. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, <laughs> you just do no, it No, I've got pants. a gorilla in a berserk rage. Ooh. Uh, who also believes they are invisible. Wow. <laughs> is that invisible? really useful though? Is he it? will take risks. All right, and alongside this gorilla, we've got a pterodactyl, a fearsome, disgusting, murderer as pterodactyl with the, uh, wearing just the most beautiful hat. <laughs> just the most beautiful hat. More like a I don't care a killing machine. I mean, as, but you'll never get Conan. Oh well, listen, no. Conan is used to fighting terrors far beyond That's any hilarious. pterodactyl. Yes. He would be swinging his sword. So He's got his horned hat. I, my, it's over there. I can't. Okay, well, we gotta, well, we gotta well, have well, this last card. Character. We gotta oh, have the last it's, card. It's got this horned hat, it's got mm -hmm. the lipstick, and it's also morbidly obese. <laughs> <laughs> Your pterodactyl can't even fly! Oh, it can fly! It's just more no, 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 no. This just completes the whole picture. It's Your too fat pterodactyl to fly. is definitely it's, named Karen. Uh, as Bill Clinton ninja brunch. flips with his uh, his spring shoes over your morbidly obese pterodactyl, taking your hat yeah. and, and then gets on. smacked no. in the face by a gorilla. She won $20 Which is at the Easter Parade Which is then beheaded by Conan hat. the Barbarian wow. and his tween army. It doesn't say it's And they've sword. got their Starbucks, yeah. They got their Starbucks, they're amped up. They're holding that gorilla down while Conan just ha, ha. He's like, good job, tweens. Oh. You know, I'm I'll get you a dipping Dots or whatever kids are into. I'm just gonna give this to you. The tween army, let them be the BTS army. And they mm. will yeah, absolutely the BTS lose. army. I will because say, you guys, everything here seems super useful, except strangely, the three seconds into the future. That, is, see, that is useful. I don't so see like, that being helpful So like, at all. okay, yeah, so like, in three seconds, I'm gonna throw a punch at you. You're like, okay, I'm gonna dodge this more way. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna know where the gorilla's coming yeah. from so that exactly. I can put a portal gun on the ground so when the gorilla does jump, But only, only three seconds. Through. Yeah, do you yeah. know how long? Listen for three seconds. One. Three, that's a lot of time. All right, all right, I've made my decision. Okay. I've made my decision. And as much as I love the beautiful hat, unfortunately, I think Bill Clinton with the portal gun and being able to see three seconds in the future Conan. with him. Army of BTS fans is just going to be too strong. Woo! You know what? In, that, in this case, I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. No, yeah, this is a fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a very valiant effort. Lit. But, hashtag lit fam. Let's go listen to some Billy Eyelash. Yeah. Billy Eyelash. Go watch Conan the Barbarian. Billy Eyelash. Eyelash. <laughs> Whatever you tweens are doing. <laughs> All right, I got my team. Is I've everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, flip your teams in three, two, two. one. Points. Oh. Where are we starting? Ooh, let's start from this team. I've got an eccentric chocolate factory owner <laughs> who can control gravity and hands accidentally glued to hips. <laughs> <laughs> so if you oh control gravity, it's fine. <laughs> Just <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. Then we have Michael Scott that can take the form of anything water-based. <laughs> I love that. Wait, like lubricant? <laughs> oh, he can Stronger. also has a venomous bite, so oh he can transform it into water Whoa. and then literally bite you from the inside. That's what she said. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> it could be something actually really sinister, like water bending stuff. Like, it, he, like yep. Mike, Michael Michael Scott could turn into the water inside of your body and like make you burst from the inside. Exactly. You know, I'm I'm not too scared about uh, what they got over there because over here I've got none other than Abraham Lincoln. Oh, what? Yep. And not only do I have Abraham Lincoln, but he is handcuffed to a golf cart. What? <laughs> right? He's not leaving that golf cart. Right? He's got one hand attached to a golf yeah, cart. Yeah, he's driving Wait, that why golf cart. Why did you choose that? Uh huh. And not just that. He's also easily distracted. Yes. <laughs> so it's hard for him to go anywhere at all. And that's probably why he was initially handcuffed to the golf cart. This right. doesn't and, sound deadly at all. And oh, you know, know it's gonna be. Oh, you because don't know. Because a distracted he's got, driver. He's got a, he's got, oh. he's leaning out the golf cart. He's, he's, he's distracted, he's but he's got a, a, like a putter or something in his hand. <laughs> and who's driving that golf cart? It's a peanut with a top hat and a monocle. And he's got, Feet instead of hands. <laughs> so where are these kicks coming from? Well, that know. golf cart's gonna be real fun yeah. with feet. That's four kicks at yes. one time. I'm sorry, this is so absurd. It's Mr. Peanut with hands for feet. Here for with feet for hands. Feet for hands. Yes. Well, driving a golf cart. Yeah, Abraham so Lincoln scared. is chained to. Yes. Wait, Mr. Peanut died. And he's also no. made of hair. Weird, weirdly, oh, I think we won. Oh. Listen to me. Listen to me. Venom <laughs> cannot travel through hair follicles. Therefore, your venomous bite is useless. Right, let me paint you this picture. You're doing a good job. I'm, I'm team left right now. I'm okay. loving what you're putting oh, great. down. What do you do when a when, uh, man walks out with wild steps, hands on hips, and then flip, makes your car float in the air? What, I pull it tangled <laughs> I and was... I whip my hair body foot at you and wrap around your neck and choke you to death. I was thinking, and I, and I pull it down. While you're from just the sky. going higher. Yeah. So, so, well, so but I don't think you're doing me. anything. Without, <laughs> with, without even my character getting He's inspiring of, me. I think that Joven's character could legitimately take both of you. He's just going to uh, change the gravity of his chocolate river and drown your hair in it. I'm so, just, I, I mean, I think we've made a pretty good case of how we're going to. How in the hell are you gonna defeat them? You're not gonna do jack shit! I you know have to kill me to the air and you're Abraham fucking Lincoln in a golf car! Very inspiring. This isn't gonna do jack shit! You obviously haven't been listening. Listen. This is the dumbest fight ever, and I think it's wonderful. And it's we pretty win. great. Uh, no, I gotta give it to Michael Scott. Yes! yes! Locked yeah. in? Locked Everybody in? locked in? Oh, yeah. Nothing's Flip them over! Yeah. All right? Ooh. Where you wanna start, bro? I wanna start on the right side. Okay. I'm right on brand. I'm a velociraptor. Yeah, you are. In a hot air balloon. Death from above, bitches! Oh. And not only that, but I also can match an opponent's size. Wow. So That's yeah, cool. you come, at, come at me with a big That's boy. Cool. No, because I, I'll get bigger. Out of curiosity, does the uh, Velociraptor have your vertigo? Because you hate heights. No, it is it is a brave Velocir Velociraptor. <laughs> and on my team. You've got Triassic period being repped and you've got Ice Age being repped because I'm a woolly mammoth who is a camouflage expert. He's big, wow. he's fuzzy, and you can't see him. But also, <laughs> He's armed with a potato gun. Woo! Oh, I love it. You Actually, got pretty hilarious. <laughs> You see that huge gun. carpet with over the, there? It just says the, it's armed, but it doesn't say it can use it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's we got some ancient creatures here. We're team BC, because bitches can't. They can't come at us. <laughs> And let's see what you right, got. Yeah. Oh, what do you guys got? I what don't know. Got? That was good. That was good. Right. Yeah. yeah, you got ancient creatures, grandpas. We've got a polar bear that can turn into steel. It's oh. armor bear over wow. here. Oh. Oh. Armor That's bear friend, friend armed armor with dog. a shotgun. What? <laughs> That's right. Whoa. That's, that seems okay. That's yeah, seems you, have okay. Pet, you have a potato gun? I'm sorry. <laughs> shotgun over here. I, I don't know if you guys will be all right because not only do we have this amazing steel polar bear with a shotgun, but we've got Bruce Lee. Oh, oh And wow. his hands are covered in butter. But it doesn't stop there. <laughs> Why did you Because he <laughs> is also made of guacamole. <laughs> what? Oh. Butter in my guacamole, I say oh, si se puede. No, 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 I don't, no, I don't think you'd be very good in a fight, but damned if you don't sell for like a million dollars on eBay. So this woolly mammoth, he's a master of camouflage. They're looking for him, they're trying to find him. They're like, there's a woolly mammoth around here somewhere. <laughs> We gotta find him. Nope, can't find him. Bam, he pops out right from behind a tree. Boom, hits the stupid shotgun bear with his trunk. The bear's on the ground. It's like, I'll turn to steel, but it's too late. He's rolling down a hill. The steel's only making him pick up speed. And then who's trying to save him? It's what, Jeff Bruce Bezos. Bruce Lee. Ben Bruce Jeff Lee, Bezos. whoever it was. And Bruce Lee's like, whoa, butterheads. 
And, and he goes to hit the woolly mammoth, but his hands just slide off because they're covered with butter. And the woolly mammoth is like, no! And then out of the air comes a velociraptor just jumping down. He can match an opponent's size. So he actually maybe... Doesn't do that at all. Maybe stri- shrinks <laughs> you know, a little. You, yeah, you, 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 shrink, you shrink to Bruce and then, and then he just he just starts, he does the thing with the claw that Dr. Grant was talking about where he rips his guts out and then Bruce Lee's still alive when the raptor starts to eat him. Fight over. It's Thank you guys so much for watching. I think he forgot, the, the, I think I, I think he forgot that the, the Bruce Lee was made of guacamole. Is he? Well, yeah. That's even more delicious. It's a tastier <laughs> treat. I did forget that, yes. All right, so what, what are your guys' arguments? Uh, we're, we've got a steel uh, polar bear, uh, a uh, shotgun. Uh, we can shotgun uh, the velociraptor who's probably three feet oh off my God. the air yeah. because he can't get up. Uh, he weighs way too much for a hot air balloon. Well, the raptor can get it up. Here's how I see this battle going down, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, here's how I see the battle tell going us. down. Tell, tell so, us how we win. Bruce Lee <laughs> runs in, made of guacamole, to distract the woolly mammoth, who will be 100% honest. I don't care how much of a camouflage expert the freaking woolly mammoth is, you're not hiding a freaking woolly, woolly mammoth. Do you see any woolly mammoths in this room? Yeah. No! Oh. Is there one? It's We're funny. in it. <laughs> okay. But you know the elephant in the room? That. You can't God. see it. Okay. Yeah, woolly so, mammoth in the room. Bruce Lee runs up, made a guacamole to distract the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth's like, I'm kind of hungry, and armed with a potato gun. Bruce Lee gets immediately eaten. That's just 100% yeah. what happens. I agree. Mm-hmm. But while the woolly mammoth is eating poor Bruce Lee over here, the so, bear comes out, turns to steel, and mauls the mammoth to death. So the, the woolly mammoth that is now dead. It's the polar bear versus the velociraptor. The velociraptor hovers in, sees his friend get taken down, jumps out of the balloon to jump down on top of the polar bear while the polar bear is feasting on poor Joven here. But unfortunately, the polar bear is still made of steel and has a shotgun, so looks up, sees the shadow of the lost driver coming down, turns up and just Oh, so uh, she, what, fire the shotgun with what? Yeah, he does not have house? opposable thumbs. <laughs> I had a, 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 a mounted potato gun. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's mounted true. potato gun <laughs> was mounted. The steel polar bear was OP as hell and has killed everything. Polar bear! <laughs> the Chris Lord. Bruce Lee yeah. died immediately. Yeah. Yeah. All power to you, though. I was swallowed. Luckily. Why did you pick hands are covered in butter? Because I thought it'd be really useful as someone who does a lot of hand-to-hand combat if um, <laughs> they had butter on their hands. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you all next time. Be sure to check out all of their channels. Links in the description. And let us know what games you want to see here on the Laser Corn channel. We'll play some more. And this has been fun. This has been Super Fight. And no one could ever actually stop a Velociraptor. Uh, yes, they can. A steel nope, polar bear. The video's cut. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, no, I don't no. <laughs> Hey, looking for some more of us arguing with each other? Why not check out Trial by Trolley? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you get a chance. And hey, have you seen our D&D series yet? Because it's, uh, it's a thing. You should check it out. Click right over here.